we're on easy street and it feels so sweet because the world is but a treat when you're on easy street welcome to the easy street radio show hosted by rob scribner grab a cup of coffee and let's get started this video is made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags, available on Amazon right now. Hey guys, welcome to Easy Street. Um, yes, I don't have my regular uh, studio here, so uh, I thought I'd try to do something a little different. I'm uh, actually off the location of our home, and I'm actually uh, actually 1,200 miles away in another place, so I thought I'd just uh, do an Easy Street from here. <clears throat> and uh, you can find Easy Street down in the description where you're uh, where you are playing Spreaker, several other places, all kinds of platforms, and we're also syndicated on Good Talk Radio. And I got used to my camera being in a different spot. So uh, I also do not have a podcast mic. I'm actually just using the mic on the computer, so I apologize if the sound isn't as uh, crisp as it used to be with the other set, set up, but it's only temporary. And I actually have some equipment with me where I could, couldn't make this a little better. But I wanted to uh, talk about <clears throat> this mask stuff and this paranoia. Uh, I'm really thinking that there's an East Coast, West Coast thing going on. Because uh, on the West Coast, I mean, uh, well, with the exception of, say, California. <laughs> um, and I've driven through a couple of states recently. And... Uh, some people wear masks, some don't. Um, I would, if I had a cold, if I had sniffles or didn't feel right, I'd definitely wear a mask anywhere I would go. Um, but uh, I don't feel threatened because I ain't treating this just like any other bug that's out there, whether it's a flu or whether it's a, a cold or whatever, like ear infections, whatever. Um, I really I mean, um, a lot of people i don't know where people are getting all their information i really highly recommend that you go to more than one source to hear what's going on um there's you know drawbacks or even wearing a mask all the time but i certainly i mean uh, if there's a store or a place i go that requires a mask i really had to go there i wouldn't i'd put i mean as long as the economy is opening and functioning I'm happy about that, but uh, I am not uh, paranoid about this at all. And I'm older than most of you guys. Um, I may have even had this already. I don't know, I don't know how many people I've found out have got had this already, and I think they got it in like January, <laughs> way before all this. So, uh, yeah, I mean, if you're older, or if you have... Uh, other illnesses and stuff like that. Um, yeah, it's pretty scary stuff. But uh, not only could this terminate you, so could the flu and some of the other stuff. So what we need to do is really just take the education we've learned. We know what COVID does. We know who it affects the worst. We protect those people. Those who are afraid of it um, you know, continue to wear a mask 24-7. But... Uh, Guys, have you seen yourselves? This is getting ridiculous. Um, this scare tactic, this media stuff is really what's causing all this. And there's a handful of governors out there that I don't know what the hell they're thinking. Uh, they're really either power hungry or I don't know what they're getting some kind of a jollies out of being uh, powerful, trying to block people from stuff. And I don't see why they don't see that people are turning on them. And uh, I can't wait till the elections come and hopefully uh, a lot of folks will wise up and realize some of these leaders are just uh, nutcases. Uh, we need to get back to work. Uh, there's uh, Not everybody's going to be perfect. And not every business can be perfect. Um, but if we continue this way, we're destroying our nation, destroying our economy, we're destroying families, we're destroying their budgets, we can't live off of unemployment, uh, we're getting farther and farther in debt, 
Adams wanted to do another three trillion dollar thing. I hope that gets killed because that's going to just cause our inflation something fierce. There might be a slight chance that we'll bounce out of this pretty good if we could fire it right now. There's a handful of governors that are holding out and having some ridiculous policies. But uh, I think it, the people are going to turn on them. And uh, uh, it's not going to be good. So it's just, um, uh, you know, uh, when you listen to these radio shows, you got to understand the radio shows. Uh, like I got a comment the other day like, well, do you walk around? You could be killing people. Well, then for the last couple of thousand years, we've all been killing each other as a uh, we function just fine without masks. And if you know you're going to be around someone who's sensitive or older and stuff, then you need to take precautions. It's called accountability. Accountability it means that you're a big enough boy and girl to make wise decisions so you can go out in public and not require the state, the local government, nation to tell you what to do and you don't need to be a little what we would call the tattletales there's going to be exceptions and there's going to be mistakes and we don't need little whiners like you guys with little cell phone cameras uh, trying to get people busted just it's stupid and it causes tension and uh, nobody is like each other but we can always get a commonality of what to do. But generally speaking, a normal person without a mask is the way humans should survive. So if there's a handful that don't wear them and stuff like that, just get over it. It's just some back in the day, we used to have restaurants with smokers and we used to have all kinds of other things. And we all got along and found a way to exist. Um, we just all realize that everybody has different kinds of habits and different kind of lifestyles. And we just like, instead of judging, we either be accountable and say, I don't want to be around a smoker or whatever that stuff, but to whine and take pictures and tattletale and, and, uh, bitching the plane and ruin it for the whole atmosphere of the restaurant or whatever. Um, that stuff's stupid. And I don't know where this all came from. But really, be accountable for yourself, people. Don't expect the government to bail you out. Don't expect the government to make all these rules. If there's something you don't like, walk away. If there's something on the television you don't like, turn the channel. If there's something on YouTube you don't like, don't subscribe to that channel. It's just that easy. That's why we call this Easy Street. Let's keep it easy. Just be accountable for yourself. When you do that, I think you can. Would you like better radio with great talk shows and great music and less garbage? Good Talk Radio is your choice. We have great programming, great music, and a great attitude. We love our country. We love our listeners. Good Talk Radio. Well, we are back. And uh, so it's one of the shades behind me and shut off a lamp. So that's a little better for background. Anyway, uh, not used to using this kind of setup. And I, I'm also used to a mic. It's like, where's the mic? Anyway, so we've been on talking about accountability. And it, I don't know why so many people can't seem to grasp that anymore um accountability is just common sense is another word and uh gosh some of the stuff i'm seeing and uh, mob like uh, behavior um really it's just if someone goes in the store and doesn't wear a mask um you can ask them you're not ill are you or something like that but if there's a store that's not required then uh, which around here, that's typically the case. And, and so some people wear them, some don't. If somebody's wearing a mask, the last thing I do is give them a hard time. Um, somebody who's not wearing a mask, I assume that they're, they're not sick. And um, I'm, 
I'm bound to catch it. And so I'm almost to a point. It's like, I wish I could just verify I caught it and, you know, or just get it over with. Because it's just going to, as I'm treating it like the flu. No, it's not the flu. It's different. I know. Don't give me that. And I don't, that's the funny thing about these shows. Is somebody will hear one line. I had that happen with some family member. Hear one line on the show. And I think they just stop it and they write a big text and chew me out. Which they can kiss my thumb. <laughs> anyway, um, um, and then if they just listen like 10 more minutes or 5 more minutes, they realize I take both sides. So I hope even in this show you realize, like, I understand people are concerned. And those who are concerned, consider, be concerned. Wear a mask. Be protective. Don't go out. Stay in your houses. Fine with me. By the way, if you stay home and not go out, it makes Walmarts and stores uh, not as crowded. And I appreciate that. So I'm not going to give you a hard time about that. And if you want to wear a mask, I'm going to give you a hard time about it. Um, stores that are kind of mandatory, some of them I quit going to, like Costco. They require a mask, so they apparently don't require me. So I can get pretty much everything I want at the grocery store that doesn't require masks. It's only recommended. Um, I don't like them. They feel uncomfortable. I don't feel safer. I feel actually kind of grody from sweating and breathing in my own air, and that CO2 doesn't do much for me. And... Uh, I don't know how some of you guys are making it in this. I mean, I can see in this generation, in this uh, set of population, I, I don't know how some of you guys were already had a crisis, how you would survive this paranoia of germs and stuff. Um, I don't know what to tell you. Life is going to go on. We're not going to wear masks all our lives. And this will never go away. It'll be like the flu. And if you're waiting for a hundred percent or a vaccine, stuff could be a while. But you know what? The best mechanical, best device ever out there to fight this is this God-given body that we're given. It does this major overhaul of fighting germs and things like that. What a great design. What a machine. I wonder who could have done such a great job. And right now, for those of you that are all hiding behind masks and paranoid, you need to have a little faith. You need to understand your body's stronger and smarter than probably you right now. Give it a chance. And even if it gets sick, it's going to say, all right, we can get through this. And by the way, once we're done with it, We'll make it real hard for you to ever get it again because that's what the human body does. And there is exceptions to that, and those are the people who have to be careful. But they need to be careful around the flu, too. They need to be careful with someone with strep throat. They got to be careful with somebody with uh, some other stuff. So, getting back to the word accountability can you be accountable? Or do you just have to have someone tell you what to do? I'm sorry, but that's a wiener. <laughs> really, you got to put on your big boy pants, big girl pants. Get out there and make your own decisions. And quit trying to make people comply to your thoughts. Try to just get along, would you? And really pull the mask off. You know, it's kind of funny. I could go into a store with like a Halloween mask and probably everybody would be fine. Not Halloween masks is useless for whatever they're trying to do with these masks. But you're so conditioned, you would be fine with it. You say, well, he's covered. So ridiculous. I'm not going to go through life talking to people that have half their face covered up. It's stupid. 
Maybe if we lived on Mars and we got a, have a helmet on. That's different. This is ridiculous. Look at yourselves. Look at yourselves. Look at us all trying to function with these things over our faces. God did not design us to be like this. Our bodies are not designed to be like this. Humans are supposed to be social. We gather. So, guys, really, look up the word accountability. <laughs> and get on with life. Just get on with life. you got bigger things to worry about, like your career, your job, uh, the unemployment's going to run out. That $600 is going away pretty soon. Probably won't send us another stimulus check. Get over it. Time to go back to work. And follow whatever precautions that your businesses have set up. Some will be good at it. Some will not. Some it's pretty hard to do. Let's find a way to function and move forward. And be accountable for yourself. And quit being the tattletale whiner. You don't need that right now. Be that person. Be that responsible dog owner. Be the one they point at saying, hey, he picks up after his dog and he uses Ranger Rob poopy bags. Available at Amazon with free shipping. Hey, we're back. Um, I want to take the time right now to actually uh, do a shout out to all the people that have been uh, buying our Ranger Rob poopy bags. We really appreciate it. And you'll find they're really good. And we find when people buy them, they keep buying them again. So that's the cool part. We know they're good. Uh, the other ones is uh, donations. I want to appreciate for those who have gone to Good Talk Radio, hit our uh, donation button and uh, help us out a little bit. Um, every little bit counts. And so uh, I've definitely seen an uh, uh, uptick on that, and I really, really appreciate that. Uh, we also ask you to maybe go check out Ranger Rob channel, which is our YouTube channel, and subscribe to it because we uh, do uh, stuff on radio. We do things for cooking. We do things in the outdoors. Um, all kind, all kinds of interviews. All kinds of stuff on there. And today we actually did a video about um, uh, mobile cellular internet system, which is great for places out in the boonies, like where I'm at today. I'm actually using it, and also uh, it's really good for um, travel, especially if you're an RV or a vandal or something like that. And, you get into places, as long as you have a cell phone signal, uh, you can get some really good internet. So uh, it's not as good as, say, you know, what you can get in the city, <clears throat> but uh, we can totally function out here in a place that we couldn't get internet before. And I'm quite happy with it. So uh, anyway, if you go to the Range of All channel, you'll see that we just released a new video um, about the, uh, what do we call it? Got we W3 um, system. Anyway, it's, it's great. It works with uh, T-Mobile and uh, uh, AT&T, so it's a pretty impressive thing. But uh, but getting back to you guys, thank you so much. Uh, lots of new listeners. Uh, uh, please go to Good Talk Radio, bookmark it. Get used to listening to some of the great shows we have. I mean, we got some awesome, awesome shows. And also on Facebook, you can just go to Good Talk Radio, uh, Facebook, or you can go to Easy Street for this show. Uh, we have our own page. And uh, uh, even Ranger Rob itself has its own page. <clears throat> so, yeah, thank you. Just thank you. And please don't stop. We need all the help we can get. So, anyway, um, <clears throat> uh, the poopy bags, uh, we're seeing an uptick in the sales. Uh, we see a lot of happy campers. We're still five star rated. And, uh, yeah, can't thank you enough. So, uh, yeah, let's move on. Welcome, everyone, to the Ranger Rob No Poopy Scoopy Therapy Group. Yay, oh, we're here. here. Now, I know all of you guys are guilty of not picking up after your dog. Yeah. Yeah. Stinky, stinky, stinky. Well, this is the Ranger Rob Poopy Bag. It's lemon scented, it's large, and has handles. Oh, oh nice. that's so that's so easy. Easy. You can get a two month supply for under $10. This makes picking up after your dog easy. 
Just go to rangerrobpoopybags.com. That's rangerrobpoopybags.com. They're also available on Amazon. So group, you've all graduated. Get out there and pick up your poop. Visit rangerrobpoopybags.com. That's rangerrobpoopybags.com. And don't ever get caught not picking up after your dog. Well, guys, it's the next day. And uh, uh, I thought I'd let you see how big Belle's getting. <laughs> big, maybe a big girl. She's like 17 weeks old now. And uh, just got her last shots yesterday. And, uh, a really good pup, and she's really heavy. <laughs> anyway, so did you say she's grown a little? So anyway, she's a uh, very energetic, great for Cinder, and uh, we're really happy to have her in our family. And she's loving this new place that we're hanging out with five acres to run around. And it's amazing how little puppy. Um. Everything's new to them, <laughs> everything. So uh, we have our fifth wheel up here and realized that our puppy's never gone up or down steps before. So that was pretty interesting. Um, <laughs> so I wanted to, it is the next day. I wanted to kind of uh, say, uh, it's, it's been concerning to watch some of the videos that we've seen coming across and some of this mob mentality of, uh, Really, what we we need to be fighting the elimination of all these uh, uh, unnecessary procedures that are, and I'm only saying that from the data uh, that's coming out. Uh, I really think we are over paranoid about this uh, pandemic they call it, and uh, I think we need to fight and keep fighting for freedom back to uh being human again um just look at the pictures watch the news and look how we're all acting it is not right and uh so we need to wean ourselves off this right away get back to normal get our businesses back online because if you don't think Keeping businesses closed and and that means employees don't have jobs and not making money is good for anybody. I, I beg to differ. And uh, so you need to look at every business and let them find a way to open. And don't put a whole lot of restraints on them. I mean, what's the point of opening if they can only run at 25% capacity? It's ridiculous. <laughs> There's too many people that are enjoying this unemployment right now, don't want to go back to work. And we need to get out there and fight. We need to be tough. We need to be accountable. We need to get out there and, and uh, face the world again. Turn off the news. Turn off the uh, uh, cable news and stuff like that. Check out some, some uh, alternative news, not just the same old media. Because they are just having a heyday with this, and it's all about monies and rate and ratings. So right now, the hot thing is the COVID nineteen crap, and uh, uh, let's hope that they we almost need like something crazy to go on for us to start forgetting about COVID. And that's sad to say. Um, we get some exciting things like we got some guys going up in space, things like that. That's fun to watch, and. No, they can't be up in space the whole time with face masks on. They have to actually act like humans. And I have two puppies behind me having a heyday and playing, and that's okay. And uh, I apologize that we don't have our studio up. This is a, a kind of a makeshift thing. I just wanted to say hello, let everybody know it's still going. Um, I want to remind you that we are on Good Talk Radio, and this show will be indicated, syndicated. Um, uh, up there, and uh, along with all of our other shows, this is episode 50, so this is kind of a woohoo celebration kind of thing. So, anyway, guys, be safe out there, but most of all, be human, be accountable, and uh, 
get on with life. Please, guys, let's get on with life and let's get our country rolling before something really bad happens. So, guys, take her easy. Until next time, bye. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.